Hi, my name is Hai Neng Zhang. I'm the chief architect of VMware China R&D. Um, I'm also the creator and architect of Project Harbor, the open source enterprise class registry server. Today, I'll be talking about what a container registry is and how we can manage container images securely and efficiently by a private registry. Container is an isolated environment created by an operating system to run some application. If we take a snapshot of this container file systems, we will have a container image. The container image basically is a bunch of static files on disk. Once we get this image, we can have, we can spin up multiple instances of container based on this template. The container image is the template for us to spin up multiple instances. These instances are identical to the original one. So container image is a way to help you scale out your application quickly. Besides that, container image can be used to ship your applications from one system to another. The way to do so is to use a, a registry service. The registry service basically is a repository that can help you store your container image. You can upload your image to the registry and store a copy there. This process is called push. On another system, you can download the image. So you can have a copy there. And this process is called pull. Once you have the image on another system, you can run the same application using container. These containers are running apps which are exactly the same as the original host. As you can see, a container is a very powerful way uh, to help you to ship your applications from one place to the other. And the registry acts as the intermediary for sharing images between systems. The next thing I'm going to talk about is where you can find a registry service to use to store and ship your application. An easier way is to find a public SaaS service such as Docker Hub. As long as the systems are connected to the internet, you can push images to or pull images from the Docker Hub directly. Although it's handy for us to use a Docker Hub uh, to share our images, most users today uh, choose to set up their own instance of registry service within their organizations. This is possibly because not all of their computers or systems can access the internet, so they need to have a local registry instance. There are also some important considerations behind this. First, your organizations may be required to keep its IP or intellectual properties within the organizations. Container images may contain very sensitive information that you don't want to put into a public registry service. Second, a private registry can prevent images with malwares or vulnerabilities from getting into the organizations. Moreover, you can perform regular scanning on the local image to find out any vulnerabilities and then apply patches accordingly. 
Third, you can enforce role-based access control on your local images. Organizations uh, usually have different peoples. They are, we have different roles, and they should have different access to the images stored in the registry. So role-based access control can be applied to all the image operations here um, to enforce the rules. For example, people with a developer role can push image to the registry and pull from the registry as well. For people with a tester role, they don't need to push to the image, so we don't give them the push access. They only have the pull access for the, from the registry. In addition, um, most organizations uh, have a central user management system, such as LDAP or AD for Active Directory. And the user identity can be linked directly into a registry and then used for role-based access control. The next consideration is provenance. You can set up a local service within your organization called Notary. When you are pushing an image to a registry, the pusher can actually digitally sign the image and store the signature on the notary. When in another systems, uh, when the image is being pulled from the registry, the signature is being checked and verified. If the image with the untrust is signed by an untrusted party, or it doesn't have any signature at all, the pooling will fail. Last but not least, cloud native applications usually consists of many containers. In a modern agile development process, container images are usually built dozens of times or even hundreds of times per day. It saves a huge amount of time by pushing or pulling images from a local registry. For these reasons, organizations need a private registry inside their organizations to be securely and efficiently using their container images. The open source project harbor that I'm working on is a private registry for enterprise. It helps manage container images securely and efficiently. It is available as part of the vSphere integrated containers offering. The open source version of Harbor is also available for download on GitHub. You can download it from the, this URL. Yeah.